Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We're going to talk about real estate. We're going to talk about some interesting developments in real estate right now. And I'm going to bring you to these little headlines right here first, right here out of Yahoo Finance. Mortgage rates fall for a third week in a row as housing market tilts in home buyers' favor, right? That was two days ago. It says right here, six hours ago, 30-year mortgage rates inch down slightly for third consecutive week. You're like, oh, that sounds good. Boy, those, that sounds good, Ninja. It's like, that means housing can keep going. Stand by. Um, right here, current refinance rates, June 6, 2022, rates rise above 5.4%. Man, that's high. That was eight hours ago, right? All right, now check this out. And this probably sums it up even best. Expect mortgage rates to be volatile this month and likely trend higher. Bingo, Market Watch, you nailed it. Check this out, guys. As of right now, the recording of this video, the uh, Dow Jones is down just barely anything, but all the other indices are up nominally. But look at this. This is your key indicator right here, the U.S. 10-year bond, or treasury, sorry. If you look at this, this is what a, um, a one-year chart we've seen, and we were talking about mortgage rates right about here where I said they're going to start taking off, and now they're topping, but I mean, they're up high. But if you look, they've just blown past their, let's say, last two month, maybe, maybe three month high. And we've just blown past it right now. And that means mortgage rates, if it continues to sit where it is right now or go higher, are going to skyrocket. Now, check out this story I want to share with you guys. What is up with this? No, thank you. No, thank you. Here we go. Redfin CEO says sellers are starting to freak out as market shifts. This was a few days ago, so we're going to dive into this. I'm going to give you my thoughts here, guys. It says the housing market has been the record-shattering domain of sellers since the start of the pandemic, but Redfin CEO Glenn Kelman believes a shift is coming. Well, Glenn, you must be watching the economic ninja. Kelman told CNBC's Closing Bell the housing market will look relatively similar to now in six months. Oh, you're not listening to the ninja. That's okay. He did have an encouraging prediction for buyers, though. Ooh, let's find out. Uh, rates are probably 6%. <laughs> Inventories are increasing. Sales volume will be somewhat fine, but prices are going to soften, Kelman said. Now, I want you to understand, first off, uh, Redfin makes money by people buying real estate and getting super pumped about real estate. It doesn't do well in a down market. Okay. So let's make sure about this, but let's, let's look at this quote. Rates are probably 6%. Wow. Well, that's, that's horrific actually. Uh, uh, Mr. Redfin CEO and inventories are increasing. Oh, there you go. Yet another sign that the market is going to tank and it says, but prices are going to soften. So wait a minute, three out of the four things that you just said, let us know that prices are going to tank copy. But hey, don't worry, guys. Volume will be somewhat fine. Well, what is it? Is it fine or not fine? Because somewhat fine is not very well defined. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. But you've got to dissect these articles and what these people are saying. They're like, no, it's not going to crash. It's going to slowly run into it. You know, the vehicle is going to slowly run into another vehicle, but it's not going to stop its acceleration. So it will slowly crumple it up, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. That's awesome. Good job. Solid work, guys. All right. So it says here, softening prices would be a big deal for potential buyers who have contended with the rising costs of purchasing a home for months. Well, if you mean big deal by like you're stoked because buyers are finally getting a little reprieve from this crazy market, then I, I guess, man, what is it with these people and the way they write things? I mean, I can't spell and I can't barely read, but man, I could write a sentence better than that. Don't look in the description of this video, by the way, guys. <laughs> Here we go. It says uh, the S&P CoreLogic Case Shiller Index in February posted a 19.8% annual gain, the largest, the third largest reading in 35 years. But again, guys, we want to remember that we were in crazy town and now we're coming off of this. And at the top of a blow off top uh, is when you find the crazy of the, the craziest of the crazy. All right. It says Kilman said a market pinch was coming due in part to rising mortgage rates. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, the ninja is going to go on record and say this is a little bit more than a pinch. All right. 
uh, especially when you're dealing with buyers right now that are uh, still living off their homes. There's a lot of them out there. They're refinancing right now. And if you're refinancing at higher rates right now, that means you're in financial trouble. I just want to, I want to point that out where this is nothing unlike what happened in 2006, except for it's like twice as bad. He says that, uh, uh, you know, the pinch is going to come due in part to rising mortgage rates that shot up from historic lows in the wake of the pandemic. Homeowners locked into a lower mortgage rate likely wouldn't be inclined to pay both higher prices and higher rates for their next home, which could signal a retreat in the market. And I'm not even joking, guys. This is going to be bigger than a signal because if you haven't been paying attention to what Elon Musk just did, recalling all of his Tesla workers, and he's not the only one. There's other companies. I have a feeling that you're about to see a lot of people that left their area of work to go and quote unquote telecommute only to be now told, yeah, you're going to lose your job if you don't come back. And they're going, oh, crap, I can't even afford to make that drive. Um, it's going to be quite shocking in the next 90 days, to be honest with you. I'm pretty excited. Quoted as saying, buyers are saying, I've had enough and sellers are starting to freak out a little bit. A little bit? Mm. I'm starting to see home prices being slashed all over the country. Kelman pointed to the secondary markets where sellers would be most inclined to freak out as prices started uh, start to take a step back, including Tacoma, Washington, and Sacramento. Sacramento has been in the, the news headlines last week because they're starting to see a real um, shrinking of their real estate market. And just so you know, it's not just going to be a one-off because there's a contagion effect anywhere you have, like, let's say, um, a metro, a large metropolitan area that starts to uh, regress or shrink, contract, if you will, uh, what happens, you see the outlying areas be affected too. Because a lot of times, those outlying areas, um, the, the small suburbs, weren't uh, blowing up because people didn't want to live in the city. It's actually, to the contrary, it's, they, they blew up because people couldn't afford the city. Okay, that happens all over. Um, so I wanted to bring you guys a story because I think it is very, very important. Uh, and look at this. I mean, this tells it right here. The number of homes on the market dropped to a record low of 456,000 in March. Okay. That was like the bottom, according to Redfin data. That's a 50% decrease from two years ago. What I want you to understand is this, this number is about to go higher. And when that number goes higher, coupled with higher mortgage rates, identical, I'm not joking to what happened in 2005 2006 it's it's so hard not to laugh because it is identical but bigger and better and i say better because there's more opportunities when you start to see this and you see a six percent mortgage rate get ready boys and girls we about to party this is going to be fun now it says here fannie mae economists recently warned a meaningful slowdown quote unquote in home sales could take root during the second and third quarters as a result of low inventory and rising mortgage rates. The economist forecasted 6.1 total uh, home sales this year, a reduction from previous estimates that would still represent an 11.1% decline from last year. That is a really big year over year percentage based decline. Uh, but I want you to understand, I think it's gonna be worse than that because everybody is eyeing the real estate market right now because of this last boom was greater than what we uh, had in 2004, 2005. And so um, that coupled with massive gas prices, oh my gosh, we're going to see a national average of probably $8 a gallon at peak of this summer. Um, but with that, plus inflation, plus food shortages and uh, supply chain issues, I believe you are going to see people freak out. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to start doing some cardboard uh, reviews, like actual, like real, I don't know, like we're going to, no, I don't know. What do you think? Should I actually get out the cardboard and actually do like a, a cardboard review? I don't even, you know what? I haven't even done with those. I'm going to do one. And we're going to talk about real estate and, and, and freaky prices. I can't wait for that. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. The, the, the tides are turning. If you've been waiting to buy a house, keep being patient. Wait for all the crazy people that were bidding it up out of fear. <laughs> Freak out and sell it to you for a lower price. All right, guys, that being said, I hope you got something out of this. The Economic Ninja is out.